Welcome to today's edition of Crypto Corner at InvestorIdeas.com. News on what's driving the cryptocurrency market. Hello everyone, this is Sam Mowers here and welcome to episode 587 of the Crypto Corner podcast. For news today, Ether has set another new all-time high. UBS Group is considering crypto investment options for its rich clients Riot has announced its April production updates, and Hive has announced the sale of its Norwegian subsidiary, Kolos. But just before we get into the show today, a quick reminder that if you enjoy this podcast, please feel free to share it or leave us a review. And as always, I recommend checking out some of the other podcasts on InvestorIdeas.com. Some of these include the Cannabis Podcast, as well as the Clean Tech and Climate Change Podcast, both of which will bring you up to speed on the latest stock news and trends in their respective spaces. Data from CoinMarketCap indicates that Ether, the native cryptocurrency of Ethereum, has reached another new all-time high trading price of $4,165 US and is trading for about $4,085 at the time of recording. As for Bitcoin, the flagship cryptocurrency, it is trading for roughly $57,350 at the time of recording. This comes after it surpassed $59,000 a couple of times briefly over the weekend. BNN Bloomberg reports that Swiss multinational investment bank and financial services giant UBS Group AG, which trades on the NYSE under the ticker symbol UBS, is planning ways to offer wealthy clients investments in digital currency. Not much information was given, but a source familiar with the plan said that, quote, any investment offering would be a very small portion of the client's total wealth because of the volatility, while options include investing through third-party investment vehicles, end quote. Riot Blockchain Inc., which trades on the NASDAQ as RIOT or Riot, has announced its April production and operational updates. Highlights include the production of 206 bitcoins, which is an increase of about 91% over its pre having April 2020 production of 108 bitcoins. As of April 30th, the company holds over 1,771 bitcoins, all of which were produced by its mining operations. Riot also revealed that 6,500 S19 Pro Ant miners were shipped early this month, and that installation of these is expected to be completed in the second quarter this year. Upon full deployment of these additional miners, with the company's existing fleet, Riot will have a total of 22,946 ant miners in operation, utilizing approximately 73 megawatts of energy with an estimated hash rate capacity of 2.3 exahash per second. Finally, Hive Blockchain Technologies Limited, which trades on the TSXV under the ticker symbol HIVE, has announced the sale of its Norwegian subsidiary, Kolos Norway AS, to the local municipality Narvik under a share purchase agreement. This follows a legislative bill approved by the Norwegian parliament in 2018 stating that cryptocurrency miners will no longer be subject to to the relief on power consumption at the same rate as other power-intensive industries. Hive's executive chairman, Frank Holmes, explained, quote, Hive would like to express our appreciation to the local community of Narvik, who has been supportive of the challenging position that the company was facing. We are unfortunate that it has come to this, but glad that the property has been retained by the local community so that the community can focus on developing this greenfield property for many uses. The deal was made before myself or our CFO had assumed executive duties. We are pleased that our management team can now continue to focus on more immediate needs like upgrading our current facilities while expanding existing operations in Sweden, Iceland, and Canada. End quote. That does it for today's Crypto Corner. If you would like to be a guest or sponsor for this podcast, contact InvestorIdeas.com. Investor Ideas reminds all listeners to read our disclaimers and disclosures on the InvestorIdeas.com website. And this podcast is not an endorsement to buy products, services, or securities. 
Investors are reminded all investment involves risk and possible loss of investment. To hear more InvestorIdeas.com podcasts, please visit InvestorIdeas.com slash audio. And a reminder, you can also hear our podcasts on Apple Podcasts, Audible, Spotify, TuneIn, Stitcher, Spreaker.com, iHeartRadio, Google Play Music, and most audio platforms available.